Hi, my name is Dewan Spencer, and today I will be doing my career presentation over the career of a speech language pathologist. Now, speech language pathologists may more commonly be known as a speech therapist, but they do far more than just focus on speech. Right now, I would like to focus on the income that a speech language pathologist makes, also the educational and certification requirements needed for someone to be able to practice as a speech language pathologist. So a speech language pathologist makes between sixty and ninety thousand dollars a year. This is primarily decided on whether they are in the public or private sector. However, another huge factor in that is whether or not they know a second language. For instance, those that know a second language fluently can make upwards of $5,000 more a year um, as a speech language pathologist. In addition, the amount of time that someone has been practicing as a speech language pathologist also goes into factoring their income. Now, the educational requirements for a speech language pathologist are very specific. They need to have gone to an accredited master's program. Now this uh, accredited master's programs are decided by a association called the CAA, which is the Council on Academic Accreditation. This is part of the American Speech, Language, and Hearing Associations. Um, and the reason why this is so important is because if you don't go to an accredited master's program, you cannot get your license to practice in almost every state. Another very important certification requirement for speech language pathologists is the CCC SLP. That stands for Certificate of Clinical Competence in Speech Language Pathology. Now the reason why this one, is, this certification in particular, is so important is because this certification completes all of, if not most of, the certification and licensing requirements in almost every state in the United States. So if you want to become a speech language pathologist, this is the most direct way to fulfill all the requirements to receive your license. Now, we'll go ahead and talk about the daily tasks, the requirements and demands that a speech language pathologist has on a daily basis. So, one of the big things that they have to do as speech language pathologists is help create individual plans and methods to help people to overcome their language, speech, and swallowing difficulties. As I said earlier, a speech language pathologist does not only focus on speech, but they also have uh, a focus in the swallowing muscles in the throat. And so all of that is uh, encased in what a speech language pathologist does. In particular, they are to assess, diagnose, treat, and help to prevent communication and swallowing disorders in, in patients. They also help both patients and families learn how to cope with this disorder that is affecting them or their family. So you ask what kind of other related jobs go along with a degree such as speech language pathologist or what other uh, jobs are similar to a speech language pathologist. Uh, now I'd like to read them just because of the clarification of them. Uh, the first one that is there is the audiologist. Um, an audiologist diagnoses, manages, and treats a patient's hearing, balance, or ear problems. Um, occupational therapists, physical therapists, psychologists, 
and also recreational therapists um, all are similar in job aspect. The only difference really is the focusing on the language, the speech, and the swallowing that a language, a speech language pathologist deals with. So what would be helpful courses for someone that is deciding they want to go into speech language pathology? One of the main important courses that you're going to want to do is a lot of language, um, a lot of psycholinguistics. Um, these classes allow you to understand how language is put together and how we learn this language. Another important class that, or classes that you're going to want to take are psychology classes. The reason why these are so important is because that allows you to better familiarize yourself with the methods and um, symptoms and disorders that will afflict your patients and that will allow you to help better treat the disorder that they have. Um, additionally, any uh, foreign language classes that allow you to better um, understand a second language and any learning classes also will be greatly beneficial. Uh, since we are, as a speech language pathologist, teaching and helping these patients to understand how to pronounce, uh, to, to speak better, to um, use their language better, and to swallow, you need to have the flexibility and ability to teach a variety of different people in a variety of different ways. So those learning classes help us to understand how to help each individual person in the way that they specifically learn. Now, there are many different, well, there are not very many research internship or work experiences that someone can get while they are going to school as a speech language pathologist. The main one uh, that they can get as a job or an internship or even research is a assistant speech language pathologist. And in that case, you do pretty much everything that a speech language pathologist would do, though you are not um, over the exact methods and clinical um, resolve of the patient. The speech language pathologist has the final say in everything, but you are there to help assist and to learn. Uh, for research-wise, the only real research options for a speech language pathologist is the research labs at the school. Most all accredited master programs have a very good research uh, lab and also the opportunity to go to any of the psychology labs that the colleges have to participate in research there is also extremely helpful. Um, for the work environments, what exactly are the jobs at? Where do speech language pathologists get jobs in? Uh, there are, as of 2016, there are 135,400 jobs uh, for speech therapists, for speech language, speech language pathologists, sorry. Um, at current, at that time in 2016, 49% of speech language pathology uh, jobs were in education, whether in the public or private sector. Um, additionally, 19% were in offices of physical, occupational, or speech therapy. Um, this would consider places that um, help from people that have problems with their throat, if they had a crash, that kind of thing. Uh, only 5% were nurses and jobs are in nursing or uh, residential care facilities. Uh, additionally, the 13% are in hospital jobs. Um, people that go through surgeries and need to relearn how to strengthen and use those muscles in their throat uh, will additionally be jobs there. Also stroke, heart attacks, all of these uh, 
um, can have huge implications in your speech and your language and so there is a need for a speech language pathologist in uh, these places such as the hospital the nursing and residential care facilities uh, social assistance schools obviously um, and then the private sector so what effect does speech language pathologists have on the community there are a number of different influences that they have primarily I want to focus on three the first one is the accessibility um, the accessibility of having a speech language pathologist decreases the cost of care for those that need the assistance of the speech language pathologist it also increases the knowledge and understanding of the needs of those who have disorders through speech, language, or uh, swallowing. Another big thing that it affects is the schools because speech language pathologists also work in schools. It allows and increases the skill of the reading, writing, and speaking of the school and of the students there. This allows those students who, in one way or another, may have difficulty speaking, reading, um, or talking, or swallowing, to have a way to learn how to better uh, go over this barrier, that is this speech barrier, or language barrier, or, or swallowing barrier. The third one, and I think the most crucial, is in the family. As I stated earlier, one of the main roles of a speech language pathologist is to help the family cope with this uh, disorder that the patient has and allow both them, the patients, and the families to learn how to better deal with that on a day to day basis. That can have huge implications and can really affect the outcome of the therapy in a whole. When you have that support at home, it is easier for the uh, clients and patients to apply what they're learning and to see that effect on them. All in all, I really think that the speech language, speech language pathologist is a crucial job that has many implications in the community. There are, it's a growing field and the required education is necessary. And this is my presentation. Thank you for watching.